Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. Um, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what you can expect in terms of love and romance um, over the next few months. Okay, so what can you expect? It is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed for you just below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead and begin the reading. Guys, I hope you don't mind. I did shuffle the cards off camera just to save us a little bit of time. Let's begin with the world card here. Okay, so I feel like in terms of love, in terms of lo romance and romantic relationships, I feel like you'll be connecting with someone new and someone very special. Um, but because you've got the world card, you've got the three of wands and then you've got the six of swords, it feels like this could be someone who you, you could connect with someone online. Okay, so you could be meeting with someone online. You could be meeting with someone who lives abroad. You could be meeting with someone who, you know, does a lot of traveling or has done a lot of traveling in the past. Someone who maybe was born overseas or was born to parents overseas. Someone who I feel like maybe speaks another language, okay, or speaks several other languages. Um, you could also be traveling, okay, because there's a lot of nomadic energy here in the reading. So if you do have plans to travel, or even if you don't have plans to travel, the cards seem to suggest that there is travel here in the cards for you. So you could be traveling and therefore you could be meeting someone new and someone very special on your travels, okay? But it does feel like this person is... They've got a very beautiful, open, warm, inviting energy, and it does feel like this person is going to be a, a very special part of your world. They're going to play a very special role in your life. Um, and this is someone who I feel like is going to want to give you the world, okay? Someone who I feel like is going to go to um, extreme lengths to make sure that you're happy, to make sure that you, you know are getting the love that you deserve. So someone very special, someone very wholehearted, and I don't necessarily like to say it, but it does feel like there's just something very complete about you know you and this person and the both of you coming together and sharing this connection. And this is someone whom you are going to be building a life with. So it's very likely that this year here you are going to be settling down. Okay, you are going to be meeting the one. You are going to meet meeting your special person, the soul, you, your soulmate, the person that is destined for you. Okay, you're go and you're going to be starting a life with this individual. And as soon as you meet this person, the funny thing is, and you trust me, you'll remember this reading when it actually happens for you. But as soon as you meet this person, what happens is very shortly after you meet this person you're going to start planning a future with them in your head because you're just going to see it so easily you're just going to see it so effortlessly and they will do the same in fact they might even turn around and tell you at one point that you know shortly after they met you if not the very first time they met you they just saw their future with you they saw you know building a life with you so um that's how strong and just how strong of a connection this will be for you so you are building a world with this person. You are building a, a life with this person. Um, there's also children here. You potentially could be settling down with this person. You could be traveling with this person. And this is also the person you could end up having children with. Or this person might already have a child from a previous marriage, okay? So you're connecting with... You could connect with this person online though. So at one point you might be doing a long distance relationship or you could meet this person if you're going overseas, you could meet this person overseas there. Um, or it's like you might meet this person in your own hometown, but they could be like on a visa, on a student visa, on a traveling visa, on a working visa, or they may even have like an accent that we spoke about. There's this very strong energy in the cards. It's a very strong energy that seems to indicate that either this person is at a distance from you now or will be at a distance from you in the future. So you might be doing long distance with this person at some point. Or, you know, they, they were born overseas. Um, or just like a cultural difference as well, guys. Cultural or religious difference. But do not stress because this is such a beautiful connection, such a beautiful union, that you will seem to make it work despite your differences. Okay? Um, there's a lot of, in terms of like love and in, in terms of your love life there's a lot of new energy that's coming in and, and in order for this new, new energy to arrive into your life you gotta leave behind the old energy okay so um 
you've got this wonderful opportunity you've got this wonderful you know you've got this beautiful person that's coming into your life you've got this wonderful opportunity to meet this person to get to know this person and it's going to feel like an adventure um it'll be quite an experience but before you could do that it's so important that you let go it's so important that you be merciful to yourself first and foremost and you let go of the past okay because some of you you might be holding on to the past it could be like past girlfriends and boyfriends you're holding on to past hurts past regrets past pain past wounds you know you get it you're holding on to something and i get it why you're holding on to something because you might think it's a part of your identity it might be something that you still strongly identify with it might be something you haven't healed it might be something that you know you're still really angry and upset with and you feel like holding on to it is just easier than letting go. So, you know, you got your reasons and they're valid, but it's not doing you any justice, okay? The longer you hold on to this past, the longer that you delay anything new from happening, okay? Because look what happens next after the death card. You've got the three of wands. And the three of wands is, you know, growth and it's expansion and it's movement um, and it's travel. So for a lot of you, there is a need for you to leave something behind. At one point, you know, it did serve a purpose and it was wonderful and it was great, but it's no longer that. It just, you outgrew that relationship, you outgrew that friendship, you outgrew that person. You know, you need to let go of that past mistake, that past regret, that past hurt. I think it was not easy, okay? And, you know, there's not one way to do it, but it's something that a lot of you have to work on so that you can invite new things into your life you can invite a new love a new romance a new friendship a new connection a new beginning a new life okay and just remember um, a lot of people like freak out when they see the death card right but just remember where there is death there is always rebirth okay and every beginning begins off the ending of something else so something has ended for you or something is ending for you let it go because what's ahead of you is even better than what you're letting go of all right um the, so three of wands i feel like a lot of you i see you're, you're traveling you're going to be doing a lot of traveling and this is you pushing outside pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone okay so for look this this is a journey the three of wands is a journey that's the way i see it um, for some of you it is a physical journey as much as it will be a spiritual or an emotional um, journey for others it's purely you know a spiritual journey but it's going to take you on a roller coaster okay but this is all about pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone because that's where the good stuff is that's where all the growth is that's where all the fun and exciting stuff is right outside the walls of your comfort zone if you stay in your comfort zone you might feel comfortable but no growth happens there, okay? So just remember, okay, this year, I think it's a reminder to take to take risks. Will all of those risks pay off? No, probably not. And that's just me being honest, right? Um, you know, some might not pay off. Some might pay off handsomely, but some might not pay off at all. But it's all an experience. It's all a learning curve. It's all part of the growth. It's all part of your journey. So embrace it. Okay. So this, yeah, this, it, it's all about the three of wands is an energy of you taking risks. You pushing yourself outside of the comfort zone. Because let me tell you, you meeting this person, somehow I feel like there's some sort of risk involved. And, you know, what do I mean? Um, you might have to risk it all with this person. You might have to risk your plans or something like that. But it feels like there's some sort of, or, you know, push yourself outside of your comfort zone. That's a risk, right? Because you don't know if it's going to work out or not. So, there's some sort of, between you and this special, can, this person that you're supposed to meet, there is some sort of risk involved. But notice how, in the three of wands, in the picture, notice how, you know, the, the wands are sort of running alongside each other like parallel lines. If you do not take this risk, this is what you, this is a reflection of what you and this, like the type of a connection you guys will share. You'll forever be like a set of parallel lines running alongside each other very closely, but never really meeting in the end. But if you take that risk, okay, if you just take that leap of faith, if you do what it is that your heart is calling you to do, because that's why your heart is calling you to do something. That's why your heart is calling you to go visit a certain place or to start a certain job or to start a certain opportunity or to go, you know, to go where it is that you want to go because your heart knows what it's being called to do. Your heart knows, you know, it's responding. Um, your inner being is responding here. So 
if you do not take whatever this risk is, you know what that risk will be when it will show up in your life. Because it's going to show up in your life and it's something that you're going to have to give a lot of thought and attention and you'll know. But if you don't take the risk, then unfortunately, I think you and this special person that are destined to meet, your lives will forever be like that set of parallel lines. Again, just running side by side, so close to one another, but in the end, never actually meeting sadly right but you can change that narrative you can change that narrative you can listen to your heart you can follow your heart and um, in doing so you know you can meet that person that you're destined to meet i think there's a lot of um there's a lot of beautiful things coming up for you here and i think it's in different areas of your life it's not just in love and it's not just in romance i think there's a lot of good things that you have to look forward to i think What's ahead of you is so much greater than what you're leaving behind. And I think that's important for you to know because some of you are like holding on to what you, you know, you've left behind and it's just, it's not even worth holding on to if I'm going to be honest. It's not at this point. It's like, you know, let it go. Um, and I know it's easier said than done, but it, and it's because you can't see it. Like you can't see what's ahead of you from this vantage point. Okay. You can't see it, but the cards seem to strongly indicate that, you know, you've got all this, um, You've got all these wonderful things you've got all these wonderful opportunities and you've got all these wonderful um you know connections and these beautiful memories that you'll be able to share and create but you'll have to sort of take that leap of faith you'll have to you'll have to take inspired action okay you can't just sort of you know sit around and you know and just hope for things to work out you need to take inspired action um, you've got this beautiful energy and for a lot of you I, I think this is coming from you working on yourself a lot of you are going to take the time to really work on yourself and that's the other thing that's why you're ready to attract this person that's why you're ready to attract this beautiful person because see all the qualities that you want in your person you know you want them to be um, kind you want them to be generous you want them to be um, attractive you want them to be you know um, compassionate all these beautiful qualities that you want them to have See, you're working on those qualities yourself. You're making sure that you first embody those qualities, right? And that's so important because a lot of the time, you know, people want to attract a certain partner who has all these beautiful qualities, but it's like, well, do you share any of those qualities, right? Because you need to embody those qualities first. And for a lot of you, I think you're really taking the time to work on yourself. Like you, you're improving your health, you're, you know, you, you're, make, you're improving yourself in different areas of your life like you're working on yourself you're looking good you're feeling good um you're strengthening your mindset you know all that good stuff and that way you align yourself with the person right you put yourself in a position where your person your soulmate is is able to recognize you and you're able to recognize them okay um a lot of movement in the energies i think there's going to be a lot of new beginnings here i think there's going to be a lot of i see a lot of movement um and a lot of it i think is physical as well so traveling is in the cards some of you are going to end up moving to a complete different city or even like a country or a different state and you might not necessarily agree with this right now you're thinking you know you're staying put you're not going anywhere yeah all right we'll see about that because i see very strongly in the energies that you're moving places like you could be starting a new job and therefore have to relocate. You could be um, relocating to a new residential address. You could be moving to a brand new country. How exciting. Like you could be starting, you could be doing traveling. You could just pack up your bags, okay, and you could just go on this adventure of a lifetime. There's a lot of movement in the energies for you. And because of this movement, you're attracting the right people. You're showing up in the right places and just the right opportunities are showing up for you. Um... You know, Six of Cups is, no, I skipped the Queen of Wands. I didn't because the Queen of Wands is, you know, this is the energy you're radiating. You're in your power. You're extremely attractive to people. Some of you are going to be working on a makeover. You could be like cutting your hair real short or you could be dyeing it a complete different color. You could be switching up your wardrobe. You're, you know what this makeover is about? It's about, it's like this expressive, this artistic expression of who you are okay so you're you're, you're dressing the part um you're expressing yourself like the way you're doing your makeup your hair or your clothes it's just you know it's what you think looks good it's what you think feels good it's just it's all about you and when you're you that's when you're most comfortable and that's and i just think you've got this great light this great energy and you're shining 
um six of cups your um, six of swords is you know you're moving away you're leaving behind and you've got death just above it you are going to get to a stage where you're going to be leaving behind um your past you're leaving behind your past because you know it's it's no longer you it's no longer who you are it's no longer where you want to be it's no longer what you want to do and this is where a lot of the movement comes from and look at look at that you're moving away from trouble turbulences so you could be ending relationships you could be ending connections or even friendships you could be ending things that are just no longer working for you it's going to take a lot of courage for you just to get up and go okay it's going to take a lot of strength and it's going to take a lot of courage but boy will it be the best thing that you'll ever do in your life or one of the best things because you're smoothing it you're sailing out to calm smooth sailing seas and look at all that open space it's like anything can happen and that's such a exciting and positive energy the judgment card i feel like the person that you're meant to, you're becoming the person that you're meant to be this year and i think that because of this energy there's something here that's awakening inside of you now i feel like this something is, has already been inside of you all along but it's been dormant it's just been sort of you know very in, in the slumber for years and years and years but it's finally you're finally awakening it could be a spiritual awakening that i see for you you're finally awakening to the person that you're supposed to be you're finally awakening to your destiny or you know it's this awakening and because of this awakening that i see for you you're attracting that soulmate you're attracting that special person okay but again very strongly do i feel for you that this person is across a body of water or lives across a body of water or you will have to cross a body of water to get to this person okay you'll have to cross rivers and oceans to get to this individual but they will be worth it okay someone very special and this is someone who is going to awaken something inside of you the both of you are going to awaken each other um it's this soulmate it's it's just this awakening of energies you're both awakening to each other you're awakening to you know the love and the possibilities and it's just when you're with this person like you've never felt so alive you've never felt more alive than you have with this individual um it's it's just amazing it really is a beautiful energy um i think with the page of swords it's just so important for you to you know say what you mean and mean what you say i think it's so important for you to be really honest with yourself and don't hold back do not hold back. Do not hold back when it comes to this person. Don't hold back to, you know, when it comes to what it is that you want. Like, you have to make sure you stay true to yourself. Um, because the Page of Swords is also, it's a strong energy of, like, you know, it's a spying card, as they say. Um, if you're spying on exes, on, you know, on your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend, I mean, what's the use? You need to get out there. You need to live your best life, okay? And remember how we spoke about letting go or, you know, throughout the reading it's some of you need to let go of some habits some stalking habits um some of you might just need to you know just let go you have to be ready to let go so that you can invite this beautiful wonderful new energy into your life okay um but yeah just going back to that page of swords it's just so important that you don't hold back from what it is that you want from what it is that you believe you deserve because the only person that can get in your way is you be kind to yourself get out of your own way all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye for now